Good morning, how are you doing? I am just getting ready to go to the house. I'm putting on makeup to go to our reno house because I need to feel good today. Like I'm just, I can't lie, I am broken after our trip to Bali. My gut health is non-existent. I'm trying to psychologically make myself feel better by making myself look better. So we are going in with a very generous amount of the Beauty Pie Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF 20, my favorite, because I need glow and life to my skin. I did use my New Face mini device this morning and I honestly feel like that has really helped to perk up my complexion, but I am a shell of a human being. But anyway, <laughs> Fortunately, Brian is free today to come to the house with me, the Renault house, and help me with the guest bedroom. I have some big updates to show you, which I am so excited about. So we had our carpet go in yesterday. Onto the upstairs hallway and bedrooms. We are also having a runner put through the stairs, but that has been cut to size and then it's gonna be sent off because I wanted to have a herringbone like trim to it, which has just always been a real dream of mine. If I ever were to have stairs, I knew kind of what I wanted for the stairs. And I love a stair runner. I love a stair runner so much. So fortunately, I'm not gonna have to kind of put together the guest bedroom myself on my own today which I'm so thankful for because I honestly don't think I could be lifting like the parts of the bed up the stairs and a mattress up the stairs. We've got our new mattress which has arrived. This video will contain a paid for integrated partnership with Emma Mattresses and I am really excited to show you what we've got from them and what we've got going on for the guest bedroom. Going in with a little bit of the Valentino foundation today for some extra coverage. I haven't worn foundation in a while but I feel like it is needed today. Anyway back to the house. It is so close to being done which I'm so happy about. It's just feeling like we're, we're really getting there now. I think from now we could kind of start moving stuff in if we wanted to but there's just a little bit more painting and stuff to go and I don't really love there's an eyelash on my cheek, oh no. I don't really love living, with, like some people love the smell of paint. I'm not one of those people. So once that is done, I think we will look to start moving in. I'm also really busy over the next couple of weeks as well. So I don't know when I'm gonna find time to actually move myself in. I'd rather stay consistent in one place and then move when I have the time rather than move when I'm really, really busy. Illuminate bronzing drops are an essential today. Oh, these just give the best bronze and like really help with shaping the face and sculpting, sculpting, shaping the face or sculpting the face, but sculpting. Also, if I use the wrong words in, in the vlogs at the moment, it's because I am so mentally tired that I just keep saying the wrong thing. It's been going on for about a week now. Just adding a bit of the lighter bronzing drops from Luminae to just blend everything in really seamlessly. For reference, my like sculpting and deep bronzing shade is the shade Deep Glow, and then I am using Summer Glow. And Summer Glow is very subtle. Like I think maybe in the depths of winter, I, I might switch over to that potentially, but it really doesn't like pop out from my skin very much. So that's just a nice one to use if I want to like make sure my Bronzer blend is really seamless. Armani eye tint in shade 20. Okay, my eyebrows are enormous today. <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. A little bit of Valentino blusher, and then we're gonna do lip liner and get out of here because I need to get to my house ASAP. I woke up at 5.30 this morning, so. I actually think I was awake well before that as well. Like I was lying there seeing if I was gonna go back to sleep, so it's probably been I've probably been up since even earlier than that and I know that I'm not gonna last long today so we need to get going and get some things done. Oh my god, I forgot how much I like this blush. I haven't used it in a while. It's the Liquid Rosso liquid lipstick in the shade 110A. I'm sure it has a name. I'm, no, I'm certain it has a name but I it doesn't say on the bottom so I will link it. But these are such nice matte blushes but they're also like lipsticks as well like liquid lips it just gives a nice little bit of life 
to my cheeks which I feel like currently have no life. So I'm going to go in with my base of lip liner but we're actually going to use a new lip liner today which came in my PR yesterday. I went to the house and did a huge amount of unboxing because there was a lot of posts there and a couple of new lip liners arrived which I wasn't I honestly didn't think that I would love but I'm very very impressed with them so these are the Jones Road lip liners I have the shade nude pink tawny nude nude rose and nude east I'm gonna swatch each of them they're all very like similar really but like ever so slightly different undertones which I really like so we've got nude east or nudist at the top and then tawny nude nude rose nude pink I don't know which one to go for I went for nude east yesterday and I did really like it I really like the look of tawny nude as well it's very similar to my favorite mac lip liner which I just applied in stone but it's less of a gray tone it's giving mac whirl which is a throwback and I loved that lip liner so much yeah I'm gonna keep this this is nice I think this suits my skin tone quite well yeah love that and then in the center i'm just going to apply an oldie but a goodie this is kim kw lip liner in nude zero kim kw i again wrong words i miss kkw beauty so much their lip liners really were the best so just apply that in the center and then i'm going to keep tawny rose blended in around the outer part of the lip and this is like my perfect new lip shade the longevity of these is good as well like i've just tried to wipe them off and they are still there so if you like a nude lip like i like a nude lip i would highly recommend the jones road lip liners this has gone very brown beige tones but i'm not mad about it because i'm wearing an all brown outfit today so i'm just gonna add some highlight just to finish this off because i feel like i need a glow this is the lumine highlight it is unreal oh, i'm a big 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 fan of this highlighter it's so nice it actually gives me like cheekbone <laughs> okay that is my finished makeup for just literally going to the house but i need to feel like myself again i haven't worn makeup in days so we've done hair we've done makeup let's go be productive guys we're in we're in the house i'm currently in the front bedroom which is just giving it's giving whitewashed but look we have carpet I'm so excited so I wanted to show you what everything looks like quickly because today as you can see we've got the bed going up Brian's gonna help me put it together slash like how useful am I actually going to be TBC the mattress has also arrived and it's ready and we've got a new duvet I think there's pillows as well so it's super excited for that hello yeah. DIY Rye, back at it. Are you excited? Yeah, buzzing. Buzzing. <laughs> so yeah, we are in the front bedroom at the moment, which is going to be our guest bedroom slash potentially children's bedrooms one day, not like a young child. Like when when they're older, they can upgrade from next to us to up here. So yeah, this is guest bedroom number one. I really need to do blinds like slash curtains or whatever. Decide on something for in here. The lampshade still needs to go on as well. I don't, don't understand how that just didn't happen, but we're going to try and work out today. We have hallway carpet, which is so exciting. I'm just so happy. It's so nice to see white walls and like actual carpet. The stairs still need another coat of paint, but like we're getting there. We're getting there painting. The finishing off of the painting starts on Monday, I believe. We've got the bathroom, which still needs paint on the ceiling, but that is looking great. It's just looking a bit of a mess, but it's fine. We don't mind. And then, <laughs> this is so exciting. Let me show you. Look at this carpet it is sorry excuse the cables that is for led paneling that will happen at some point in the very very distant future but look at this carpet oh it's unreal it's literally the fluffiest carpet ever this was inspired by victoria's guest bedroom she has the most insane gorgeous light fluffy carpet it's like a cloud and that inspired my wardrobe room and this is the view look at that light oh it's so nice it's so nice now that it's painted because we went for a like gloss or satiny type finish so it really like bounces light around and i just think that's so beautiful i know lots of people love matte but i personally love like a slightly sheeny finish that's not like super glossy but like has a little bit of something to bounce the light and it's just beautiful there's this gorgeous like pinky hue to the whole of the upstairs it's just really really stunning and we also have the lights up 
which I'm really happy with. Look at it, it's so cute. Yeah, so we're gonna start like moving my stuff out of the living room and up into here this afternoon as well. So it's all going on, we've got a lot to do, but this is just <laughs> so nice. But anyway, let's get on with the bed. There he is, my hero. <laughs> I'm really not feeling too fantastic today, so I honestly don't know how I'd be doing this without Ryan. Forever grateful for you. Right, let's do this. So this should take 30 minutes. 30 minutes? We'll see about that after the time. Let's put, put you on a countdown. <laughs> The bed is done. I'm really happy with it. And it was actually quite easy to put together, but now it is time for the mattress. Okay. I'm not used to having stairs. Sorry, just moving you slightly because the light, I'm not used to having direct sunlight and it was right in my eyes. But this part of the video is the paid for integrated partnership with Emma Mattresses. I'm so excited to be working with them on our guest bedroom. I've actually slept on an Emma mattress before. A couple of my friends have them and they were like unreal nights sleep. So I'm really excited, not only for our guests to get to experience that as well, but also in terms of like our lifestyle and just how I see this room working for the foreseeable. Like there are definitely nights where I just need to get an early night and get to sleep really quickly and have a solid night's sleep and Ryan might be coming in late. So this guest bedroom is not only gonna function as a guest bedroom, but also just like making our lives easier. So I was very particular on the mattress that we had to have in here. It couldn't just be any old mattress. It needed to be a good one because there's a good chance that I'm gonna be sleeping in here at some point. It works out really well if I've got like an early start. Say I'm going away on a work trip, sometimes I have to leave super early my dressing room will be next door we've got a bathroom up here as well so it's almost like i can just section myself off and not wake ryan up like super early in the morning and same for if he's working late or one of us is going out or anything like that so i was very particular on the mattress that we needed to have up here i went for the luxe cooling mattress in the double size and we've got a double bed over here it fits the space perfectly so i'm so happy with it i also got a mattress topper just for extra comfort i really love a mattress topper ryan has one at his house at the moment and it just makes all the difference and then we also have a pillow as well i can't remember what pillow it is all i remember was it was the softest squishiest pillow which is right up my street and then i believe this is the duvet yeah cotton fabric duvet so i'm very excited to try out the full range and we just need to get into this asap because i need a nap desperately <laughs> it's the middle of the afternoon and i have been awake for a very long time at this point like i'm actually delirious so i'm very excited to get all this on the bed and have a nap how do i do this ryan i think i'm at the point where i might need help I think. do i just Ooh. whoa she's an independent woman i can do it <laughs> i used to be independent you've ruined me you can do it. Encouraging. <laughs> Struggle is character building. Come on. Come on. I'll take the heavy bit. Right? Yeah. and now we leave her to do her thing. Ryan's doing the topper because <laughs> I've worn myself out. Just to clarify, I did say it would help as well. He repeatedly said he would help, you I was just being stubborn. <laughs> so this is the topper. I'm so looking forward to this. I think it's gonna be such a comfy bed. So it should take two to six hours for the bed to like fully settle in. Sometimes they can take a little bit longer, but we are obviously going to test it out immediately for the purposes of this video and because me and Ryan love to nap. We just can't wait. We just can't wait. We're so impatient. <laughs> so if anyone wants to tell me off for lying on it, please like go ahead, but just know that I, I was aware, but I'm not listening because I'm too excited. You excited? You've already got bed. Nice. Mm. Look at her little 
funny. It's so cute. So cute. Love you. Wow, that looks so squishy. Does it feel good? Yeah. Yeah. I'm real. <gasps> Goals. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> this is where I'm sending you to sleep when you come home drunk. <laughs> That's not you have the... to send me up here. Just... I'll find you up here. <laughs> this is the only time when Ryan is allowing me to vlog us in bed. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh. oh. That's unreal. <laughs> Do you want to test it? Where are you, Dan? Do you want to do it? Of course I want to test it. Come here, she be... is mattress connoisseur. Ah. Yeah. Oh. We're moving in up here. It's unreal. Hello. You're meant to be testing the mattress, not us. <laughs> That's so nice. It's like firm. Uh. Firm but squishy at the same time. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of our guests. <laughs> We're getting one of these for downstairs. Okay, we shouldn't lie on this for too long. Okay. 30 more seconds? Yeah, 30 more seconds. 2,000 years later. I don't want to get up. Right, come on. Oh. You can stay, you're fine. Whoa. That's going to be a nice dude though. Ooh. That's huge. What size is that? Oh. oh. <laughs> is that two? Yeah. Oh, if it's got buttons, I think you can... Button them together? You can button them together so you can have a really thick duvet. Oh, I see, I see. <gasps> so it's winter. Wow! Right? Winter all year round over here. Wow. This is blowing my mind. Why do not all duvets come like this? Game changer. We're That's getting... Yeah. Well, so every bedroom good. is having one of these now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is nice. I approve on behalf of our guests. Oh, yeah. And myself. Ah. Oh. Oh. Approved by me, and Ryan. And Shrimpy. And Shrimpy. Approved by me. Right, so what do we need opposite this bed now? Well, this is what I was going to say. Do we need a TV? This is, I was going to say a TV, but I'm also not a huge fan of TVs in bedrooms in general. Yeah. So what should we put there? Um, a huge picture of Shrimpy. Right, come on, let's get up. We're going. <laughs> no, I was like, no, very comfortable here, thank you. Approved by the shrimp. If you would like to be as comfortable as this little shrimp, I have a code which you can use to get an extra 5% off the Emma Mattresses Black Friday sale. I'm just laughing at how I've done this, but yeah, I have a code. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> okay, final bits are going in the wardrobe room. We've spent like the last hour getting all my stuff back in here. We're just leaving it in the middle of the room because I think we still need another coat of paint in here. There's a cute footstool somewhere under here, believe it or not, but it's looking so cute in here. I've just popped the teddy bear chair up here as well. I don't know if that's a bit too much boucle, but because it's two different areas of the room, I kind of feel like you can maybe get away with it, but I might move a different chair up here, to be honest. Maybe the blue velvet Zara one. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. I think I'm going to put a side table here because it's quite a thin amount of space, like an Ikea Malm dresser, which was my original plan, will come out to like here. And it's literally like just about enough room. For a person which i don't think is ideal but anyway yeah i'm gonna get some bedside tables for here i might also change all of the sockets up here because they're not they're not white i'm very confused they're not white so they just really really stick out like all of the sockets everything do up here so yeah i think we're going to be replacing those i want to get like one of those nice little kind of folding material blinds i don't even know what they're called but i want to get something up there up there in a nice pattern and then here I'm thinking like a little like coffee table maybe it's round has some kind of storage maybe and a lamp of some kind whether it's a floor lamp that kind of hangs or a lamp that goes on the table something like that but I don't know maybe not maybe I need to be practical and put like a Ikea mound there I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna work it out it's gonna be one of those things where I don't order stuff immediately because I need to 
figure out the space and here we have our loft which is very fun and yeah that is i think that is me done for today you guys i am exhausted i am sweating but yeah we've made good progress today we basically have the rest of our house kind of back so it's just kind of ready for us to move in as and when we're ready now which is ideal you coming you staying here get out come on yeah. do you ever look at how much you pack for a night and just really judge yourself because I do. How have I managed this? Hello. It is, what day is it? Honestly, I don't know anymore. It is Tuesday. Today I am at a place called Cowley Manor with the lovely Lancome team. I'm about to get ready to go for dinner with them. I desperately need to touch up my makeup because look at how shiny my little face is. But I'm excited to get ready for dinner. I have the nicest, very long dress. The theme of today has been Susie should have gone to the tailor like my <laughs> my trousers that I wore were definitely cleaning the floor and my dress tonight will probably continue to do the same anyway I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight Amelia is here so we've had a good little catch up my friend Chloe is also here so it's always really nice to see her because we don't get to see each other a lot and it's just so nice and so special to catch up with the Lancome team as well and there's so many people here that I haven't seen in forever so it's gonna be a really nice evening speaking of it's like you can hear me i was just talking about you in the vlog should i message you and i'm ready ish yeah perfect okay love you then okay i've got I've, I've got ready but whilst on the phone to amelia so i need to decide what to do with the hair i did it this morning and curled it so that i actually wouldn't need to worry but now i'm just not sure what i want to do with it like do i want to put it up Ooh, that could be cute this is what i'm wearing christopher esper dress i'll put it on and then we can then we can decide together i've got this little metallic bag because the theme for tonight's dinner is a touch of metallic i don't think anything's going to fit in here because it doesn't really open and close but i take my looks very seriously so this is this is the bag and then it's really long so i'm just throwing on my jimmy choose underneath so i will be right back I'm gonna change okay so this is the dress can't decide i think it's quite nice with hair down it's quite relaxed it's gonna be very fussy if i put the hair up but maybe i will just brush it out a bit yeah no actually i think this is nice okay oh, okay it's going a bit better now i'm going for some monica vinida earrings and then i've got my aurelia chain huggies and the little crystal huggies as well i think that's nice not too not too fussy but like statement i like the shape of these as well fragrance we're gonna go with my favorite which i actually realized over the summer has been discontinued and i am heartbroken this is ysl sleek suede it smells like chocolate or do we go for a little low pony oh i think we might have to go for a low pony you know you guys let's ask amelia what she thinks okay amelia said maybe up for the vibes chloe has said i'm a libra don't ask me <laughs> this is a big commitment once you decide to put the hair up because it's gonna ruin the curls. I forgot hairspray, so my hair tonight is being held up by my hopes and prayers and nothing else. Big bushy thoughts. Okay, she is ready. The hair is done. Hopefully the hair is holding up. Dress is on. Will I have a nip slip? Maybe. Did I bring tape? No, I didn't. I am literally the definition of an unprepared woman. Yeah, I'm gonna be standing very very carefully this evening this is my outfit the girls have come to get ready with me slash tell me to hurry up i'm wearing this christopher esper dress which is just gorgeous got this little bag from arquette cute and metallic my ring is from astrid and miu earrings of monica vinida and aurelia and that is it you guys how gorgeous is this room gorgina gorgina <laughs> you know who's gorgina <laughs> you look at you this dress is so cute <laughs> is gorgina a gorgeous vagina I need to know. someone needs to tell i need to urban dictionary where did this come from well urban dictionary <laughs> but once it's in your head you can't get out like it has a 
of my brain. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've heard someone say it. Oh, now you're not going to be able to unhear it. <laughs> no, I can't. So it's sorry. a bit like mid. Like I'm sorry. Because you, so you know when I hear something, I just say it on repeat as well. Yeah. So, yeah. terribly sorry. No. Where is your outfit from? The shoes are really cute. Oh, look at oh, you go. Jimmy Choo. Oh, yours too. Yeah. I have those. <laughs> oh my god, so fun, so yeah. comfortable. Well, they're really cute. I love those. Where is the dress from? Um, the dress. Okay, wait. Let me put down all my crap because nothing fits in my um, existent bag. I have two lip glosses. Her life goals. <laughs> Where's your dress from? Um, I have a dress from Mila. Okay, so this is Mila's dress. 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 Mila do we Slay. tell them? Oh my god, slay for the light. Okay. Oh look, now you can see how sparkly it is. It's so sparkly. We're going to Paris. <laughs> oh my god. Tomorrow. 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 We literally just booked. I'm not spontaneous. You're not spontaneous no, either. We are not spontaneous I don't know what gals. Happened, what has happened to us? We've plot the last. We have plot, We've plot the, the last. last. I don't know what is going on. I don't, I don't do things like this. Like I don't just like go to Paris. Like I go Neither to Paris, I. but like with four to six months notice. Yes, you know. Yes. But I'm very excited because we can do our best. Bonjour. Oui, oui. Gossip. <laughs> we can go find some oat milk. Some oat milk. <laughs> so that is our little secret. You have the tea. Ooh, I actually tea. wasn't going to tell them. I was going to surprise them, but secrets out. Secrets out. <laughs> We gotta pack. We, we gotta we gotta plan outfit. I am we gotta stress about the outfit. We gotta tan and and scrub and retan and face mask and dye the stash and uh, oh, sorry, I, did I, was, that. I was contemplating if I if I should tell tell your audience that I dye my moustache, but whatever. I, I mean I, I tell them you. I tell them all the time. I literally spoke about it like three times in the vlog that I've just signed off. Yeah. Oh, and the chin. The dash, the chin, the whole shebang. Sometimes I get bored and I just do my arm whilst I'm doing my other secrets that you don't do need to know. Arm. Sometimes I just do a patch on my arm because I get bored whilst I'm waiting for the. But you have like one arm hair! <laughs> no, I don't! It's right! Honestly, if you think there's a lot of arm hair. There is a lot of arm hair. People take them and cut off me for my arm hair. Anyway, okay. other secrets you don't need to know, but we're going to Paris, okay? <laughs> Enough of me exposing myself, I need to go yeah, tell Amelia's that. TikTok yeah. now. <laughs> We have a skincare like facial massage masterclass this morning, which I'm really excited to go along to. Like obviously I have my new face device, but I want to learn how to do it with my own bare hands. And this masterclass is apparently going to be it. So I'm very, very excited for it. So we need to go down with just a clean face, but we're going to take our serums down with us and learn how to give me a facelift with my bare hands. So I actually didn't get to vlog much last night. I, the jet lag kicked in and I was so tired. I excused myself at 10. Dinner was still kind of like, everyone was just finishing pudding and I was like, guys, I have to go. I am not human anymore. I need to go and sleep. And I've just been up since half six waiting for the room service to be available so that I could have some breakfast. But whilst I wait for my coffee, I am going to pack my things because I need to head home ASAP after this masterclass so that I can get ready for Paris tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. I'm going to be vlogging it. It will be up in the next vlog coming and I just, I can't wait. <laughs> Gorgeous morning. It is really stunning here. This is Cowley Manor. It's beautiful. It's actually a really nice autumn morning. It's very fresh, but like not cold. It's just perfect. I'm just obsessed with the trees here as well. Like, look, actual orange leaves. So nice. So the masterclass is in the main building here. I'm hoping there will be coffee because the machine in my room was just giving me water. So pray for caffeination. <laughs> Yeah. Sunny. It's cold, but it's not too cold. That's good. Yeah, it's nice. 
Yeah. Perfect.